Hope you didn't have your headphones up too loud. This is the English and English podcast. I'm Brett. I'm Eric. Oh, you know what we should do? What should we do? I like this one where it's like, he's Eric. Okay. He's Brett. We'll start over. We'll start over. <laughs> this is the English and English podcast. That's Brett. That's Eric. And we talk about whatever the hell we want to. Most of the time we all, we talk about it while we're sitting here sitting up and then we run out of everything. Yeah. That we all the good conversation We've done that about four times. Before. And the one time we did finally record one, we jacked it up. No, the, the gremlins, gremlins jacked it up, man. The gremlins those, got Those guys were right. You know, nineteen forties. They thought the gremlins were like messing with the machines as little men. No, they're just spirits. Right. I think it's my own. I've discussed this before. I have an electromagnetic field that well, flies. I, I think it's uh, what Dad would always say: uh, "Whom the gods would destroy, they first, first drive mad." mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seems like it. I don't remember which Greek philosopher or uh, author said that, but someone who died horribly. They knew about. They knew about three thousand years ago what was up. God, just wanted to drive you crazy. We were just talking about Reddit and how we're, I guess we're just old farts, but we just, both, neither of us really like the format. Like, we never really use it. Like, we'll go on there, stuff will link to it. Obviously, it's right. all over the internet everywhere. You're it's gonna find useful stuff for Reddit. what I don't have a problem with it. Good with but using I, it. Yeah, but I really a way to get to people. don't like the formatting of the forum. Like, I just confuse, and I'm not, I'm obviously not some kind of like Luddite. It's I'm a physical a representation Philistine. of a cacophony, is what right. it is. Yeah, it's, it's like a bunch like, of people in the room shouting text, at each other. Thing that physically represents an a melee of people yelling but at each other. But I guess we're crazy. We're the only ones who yeah. seem to think that it's awkward. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people just don't talk about it that it's awkward to use. It's not bad enough to keep them from using it. Right. Because like, it's, it's not really hard to well, it's also, use. It's just annoying to try and like look through the individual conversation. Right. Like, it's not like, hard it's not like to the post website is hard there. to post. It's not hard to find something. It's not hard to go down the list. It's not hard to read. It's just when you're looking but at But you can the, tell it's made by database nerds because it's like it's not formatted in any way that makes reading it pleasant. The user interface it's just, is very... It's just, ooh, I have subqueries. Kind of Spartan. Yeah. But yeah, but, there's I mean, just so that, many people the point are using it now that it doesn't matter. Like people are willing to put up with. Yeah. But I just don't know how. I it guess got we just that. have that many Aspergers in the world. Yeah, because I mean, really, my only problem is it is hard to track the conversations by telling who's replying to who. When you yeah. have like eight replies and then replies we'll to those, all start tagging. Well, then you have offset re- underneath right, each replies other. to those replies and replies to the, and then you don't know. Wait, is this guy replying to that second comment reply or to the one before that? Yeah, if they're what? replying to the immediate reply. It's pretty obvious, but they're replying to the reply that's up. Three and levels, then you, yeah. And then you stuff, can't tell what's going, but on. not the one that the original guy made, but the one that the second guy replied to the original guy. Right. But it still tags under the original guy or something, you know. So it's fine for like if you just want to go read, look at memes and stuff. It's great, but if you're actually trying to follow a conversation, it's not very good. Internet can be hard for that in general. Yeah. Right. And what was you were talking about? Some other website that had an awkward. Oh no! I was saying that they could make some websites. I wasn't talking about a specific one. Oh, you said there was something that you said go look at this website that it was had. Oh yeah, that no, video game website that I, I was been searching for uh, decent video game websites to read up news because so many have been embroiled in Gamergate or right. whatever. But it's it it basically escapist. Yeah, it was the escapist. It's just the escapist. The escapist. The front page, fucking mess. It just it's like a tabloid. It, there's just a thousand little boxes. Oh wait, I can't do this. It's impossible to see. You know. There was another site that I used to read, but it became one of the chief offenders of just every other thing. Was, oh, yeah. This looks uh, like it was made in, like, 97. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, it's got, like, good graphic design in the individual little boxes, you know, where they do the stuff. But it's this isn't the right one, a then. thousand little pictures. No, I mean, yeah. No, that's not it at all. What, what, <laughs> it's not theescapist.com? Maybe it's the Escapist Mag or something. Or you just Google it, not theescapist.com, because I don't know the exact thing. But anyway. It's not bringing up to bash on it because, right. for all I know, the majority of the articles are well written. But oh, I don't even read. Magazine, don't I don't even read most of them because finding something in that soup of an organized yeah, it's just mess stuff throwing in your eyes. Like I'm looking at it, and you know, like like so many websites these days, ninety percent of it is clickbait stuff. You know, right. where it's it's a paragraph of article. Um, that's reposting somebody else's like, article or something. Salt Lake City Pentagons had the most offensive toilet paper ever. Right. You never yeah. believe what was on this yeah. roll. <laughs> this kid found a gun lying right. in the forest. You never believe you what never happened believe next. what the cops did next. Yeah. Three reasons why you want to wipe front to back. <laughs> You'll never believe that number two. Uh, top or number five three had me in that tears. Every, top five reasons that everyone has an ankle tattoo will know and love. Right. <laughs> <laughs> or things people who wake up after noon need to understand. Right, like yeah. Things that only people who wake up after noon understand. Right. 
Or why you can't talk to people who own pit bulls until you read this or something like this. Yeah. All sorts all of garbage. All sorts of garbage. Uh, but, yeah. But anyway, it's just, yeah, there's so many websites and they have so much god dang money and they just can't organize themselves in a structured way. Like, anyway. I don't know. Maybe, like I said, maybe we're the crazy ones. Maybe this stuff works. Remember, you always I mean, it have has to, to appeal to the lowest common denominator too. But so that's you, what I'm saying. Like the lowest common denominator just likes noise. Apparently, like yeah, that much. But I mean, if I was making this good, website and I could appeal to stuff. the top five percent, yeah, like with an awesome well, website, or appeal to the idiots and make ten times as much money, I'm gonna be like, whatever. Well, I may what make happened. another website that also that appeals to just the the, yeah, the yeah. awesome people and just, but I'd still try to take the riffraff yeah. some money. <laughs> So you guys can let us yeah. know which one this appeals to. <laughs> yeah. If it's just noise it or if uh, we got something that... We'll, we'll see. Of course, some years down the line, if this is going you know, to become successful, we'll have some tricked out website that's just stuffed with ads and they'll be and listening to this, this and yeah. they'll be like, oh shit. Well, I already admitted that if it's... A, oh, show me the money, man. It's not selling out of right. it if that's your plan all along. <laughs> right. Well, I'm saying there's, there's a way to do it that's actually helpful to the people you're selling to because right. if you can't tell what's an ad and what's an article... That's not helpful. Well, it's like the Chipotle versus McDonald's strategy. Right. You can have, yeah. like, you can have coffee bar, you can have danishes, you can have apple pies, you can have this many different types of sandwiches, or you can just do one thing and do it well, and then... Right. Or even if you do a lot of things, just do them in an organized fashion, you know, like... But, I mean, having a lot percent- of things is always going to be more, slightly more yeah, busy yeah. and chaotic. But it's different on the internet thing. because it's not about the busyness and the chaos of having many different types of articles or many different things. It's right. just this... The physical structure of how you present the... Yeah. Because really, they're only offering find one this thing. Art- it's like gaming-related articles. Well, something. yeah, they do like games, movies, TV, right, so whatever. Right, media but like articles, but Media, not- entertainment articles. It's just their menu. Or any one of these things, so yeah, to speak. Like, right, it's not that they have too many things on the menu. It's that they don't have a menu that's laid out in a way that you could find right. what you're looking for. Just wander through the kitchen, like, pointing and right. stuff. Like, like oh, I that just, looks good, that looks right. good. Or they got five different menus in front of you. They're all the same I mean, it's, it's kind of there. Like most sites, you can click on a tab and say, just show me the stuff from video games. Just show me yeah, the stuff. Yeah, but I bet it's most people don't go through it that logically. They just show up and they click on whatever looks right. interesting. So like the top five things are always just some random stuff that, that you know, through. it's likely through. And but it probably works. Uh, it must. Because I've, I've seen a bunch of strategies for other things that I would never thought worked. Well, that's the thing. Like, weird like that South Park episode about, oh, but you didn't see, but you'd have to at some point. It was about microtransactions and like mobile games. It was hilarious. Where you buy Credits and shit like that. Right, and just about how all these practices. Basically, it was making fun of the fact that we've gotten to the point where advertising for a lot of these things and the and game making itself yeah. is they've discovered ways to manipulate human addictive tendencies. Right, like it's not act, it's, instead of thwarting them, they're actually like supporting it. Right, yeah, they are enabling. enabling if it, if yeah. this was alcoholism that they were dealing with, that's the right. metaphor they made and they were joking about. Like if this was alcoholism, they would be enablers. Right, but instead, it's just. Fake money microtransactions on uh, so the, video games or something and like trickling this and stuff trickling to thing, you, yeah. and like the whole thing is structured to give you that same kind of you know all these internet things are structured to hit that same lizard brain part that slots get yeah you know or something right. like you're that limbic, it's all limbic system it's all like you're not you know, making a choice you're not just... making a choice you're you're turned into a zombie that has to pull this lever because right. you need that juice. And you see, they're like not even enjoying it. They're right, yeah, like, exactly. Oh, you get uh, some things uh, where like, these games aren't even fun, right. but you're going to sink five more bucks to like, oh, it's going to take ten minutes, but I can if I pay five bucks, I'll have enough crystals to, to do it right get away. the unit yeah. now, and then you, you pay it or whatever. And, yeah, ridiculous. And it's not even really a game anymore because it's a game oh, no, requires... Real gamers. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm yeah, sorry. The real mobile game. gamers are the real gamers <laughs> right. now. Because there's dead. more of them. There's more of them, and they don't, they are not cisgendered. <laughs> well, they, they privileged. Might be. No, mobile gamers are are pretty gay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's our? We have a list of topic approved topics. Well, actually, one of them. This is more to my own embarrassment, but uh, it just comes up in very different situations all the time. Your boner. My boner does. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But that's but not no. It's like we were talking about games. I was thinking like playing on tilt. You know, like the converse. You know, is that, that a game called tilt, or you mean playing when you're like no, when you're on tilt, like on tilt. Like, it's from yeah. it's the term from poker. No, I know what that means. I play right. poker. Yeah, but, but I, mean, I didn't it, know if there was a game. I'm not really used, a big gamer, a, so I yeah, didn't know. it's used now to apply on any game. Where there's a competitive edge to gotcha. a lot of video games. Or that's one of the cool developments in video games now is the fact that a lot of games are competitive to the sense that right. Uh, not well, you're the, playing with real people. Right. Not only that, but I mean, not just that. There's been games you play with real people before all the time. Right. But there's a lot of games that Pong. make themselves specifically competitive, you know, because like esports is a thing. Mm-hmm. 
And not only that, though, but they structure the game such that it has considerations. Just like people are able to talk about poker and be like, ooh, on, on the turn, you want to do this, this, and this because the probabilities are right, X and right. Y. There's certain games that are to that level now where, like, there's this one well, card game. Well, the more and more of the game that the player can control, the more you can have stuff like that. Right. Whereas a game like Pong, like I just meant the first probably multiplayer game, right. you're only controlling one there's thing. No there's really no many decisions to be right. made. But there's, like, this one guy's website. Um, well, it's a YouTube channel. And he was a he's a young guy, like a kid, basically. But initially started off, I think, making a name for himself as, like, a video poker guy. Okay. Uh, like, not video poker. Like the videos machines. about poker, right? But yeah, videos about poker because he did online poker stuff. Right. But he was, you know, smart kid. His, do, his name is Trump. His online persona. Okay, or something like that. At this, but he got much bigger though because doing gaming, doing this game, game theory type the, stuff. Yeah, doing this the this uh, card game called Hearthstone. But same thing because he can look at the, a hand of cards. Right. It's like a combat game where you play cards to try to beat your opponent, kind of thing. Right. Based on oh, is it the one that? That Alex was playing the other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but, like, there are strategies <laughs> I was to it. Fun of it. I was like, what's this nerdy shit? Right, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But what's interesting is because it takes that same level. It's, like, basically getting away from playing on Till. I'll come back to that. But, like, first thing right. is that in the end, all guys are nerds to an extent. Because even if it's sports, they're quoting statistics and stuff to right. a certain level. You know, they're like, ooh, well, the Hemi block has, a, you know, this many liters. And it's, you know, and oh, if you use that. It's right. like, there's... It gets down to a point where they're and that guy is passionate about that. They'll sit there and understand the right. intricacies of it. I know? thought it was funny because it was like it came full circle. You have cards being used in a video, so it took like a Dungeons and Dragons type game, right? Put yeah. it back into instead right, well, of being, oh, we can do it all on computers now. The computer is mimicking the card well, game. Yeah, part of that though, that's funny, but that's because it makes it cheaper. You don't have to buy a bunch of cards and stack them somewhere, and you can play anywhere in right, but the I mean, world. It doesn't necessarily have to be cards per se in the game, but they do well, it, it anyway. Well, it does. It, it yeah, it doesn't be, have to be cards per se, but it, it's a structure that people understand. Yeah, it's just a, a way to relate to the yeah, interface. Right, just like that this, people understand. I mean, that already happened with online poker. You know, like, why right. does it need to be cards? We have it digitally now. Well, because right. they want to represent something that people already understand. Yeah. Anyway. So it's like, yeah, it's cool because, you know, you see these people, like, analyze stuff. Like, okay, on turn seven, you've got this much. You can play cards of this cost. And so, like, this is what the kind of options the guy has and stuff. But anyway, so, yeah, I think, like, through them in these competitive games, like, people talk about playing on tilt a lot. Like, where you get into the point in which... Yeah, you're poker. All jacked up. You're all jacked up, and you're so you know you're going to keep making bad decisions because you're angry, you're frustrated, right. but you can't pull yourself from the table. Angry, lonely, tired. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> but something like that. Just one of the poker books, right? Yeah, exactly. You should play when you're hungry, angry, lonely, or tired. I wonder where it came from originally, like tilt on tilt. Yeah, it was like, poker. It was no, no, but I mean, like what the saying means. Like it means like. Because to me, it sounds well, like... Well, it was a pinball reference, basically. When you shape the pinball machine too much, it says it's tilt, tilt. Oh, yeah, and you're, you're not, not and it play. stops you because you're, yeah. you're cheating. Okay. And then See, they, um, they, the reference, they first started using that in gambling, I think. Or I guess I guess the pinballers were the right. first See, I didn't know if it meant, like... When so I first heard it... I did start with gaming, I right. guess. When I first heard it, I thought it meant something like, you know, like on tilt, like you're tilting at windmills. Or no, it was you're running down a slope, like, and so you can't control yourself. Or whatever that... It stops. The game stops. The game stops working. You can't right, do anything. Because yeah. you're messing with it too much. You're just, yeah, you're just being messed you're with angry. It. You're messing with it too like much. Like if just like someone shaking a pinball machine puts it on tilt, you're yeah. getting all shook up or just off so kilter. Back to pinball. But anyway, yeah. So it starts. I was with pinball, I was playing it was mostly on tilt. popularized in poker. I was playing on tilt. I was playing like a, a, a shooter game like online, and so you started crying. I no. I just heard I mean, that's about how you should I cry openly and defiantly look at people when you cry. Yeah, yeah. People know that men cry too. Right. There you go. <laughs> no, they don't. Males cry. <laughs> <laughs> Unless your dog dies. Everyone accepts that. Right, yeah. There, there are a few instances. You just right. got to be really sparing. But it also shouldn't change your behavior. Like, if you're crying right. while you're doing whatever you're doing. Right, yeah. If you're crying function. while you're bearing, right. you know, the... the um, or burning your Viking or, you know, wife. Yeah, 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 exactly. Or, like, you get okay. someone to cry for you, like Conan. Right, yeah, exactly. He will not cry. So I cry for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Um, so you were on tilt. You shat your pants and cried. No. <laughs> you cursed the heavens. I had this one mouse, that overcomplicated mouse. That it, was like, it was a gift uh, from a friend. And you crushed uh, it to dust. More gifts, like, I crushed it to dust. <laughs> I did. I was playing. I shouldn't have been because I'd had a few drinks. And then I, I wasn't like doing drunk and playing hot rage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. being on tilt. No, I was like, I'm not. <laughs> I was on tilt. I, I beat my wife and burned my house down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, you know, so I wasn't doing well because I was, 
drunk and tired. on tilt. <laughs> and then, no, so then I got on tilt, you know, because right. at this point I'm not you're just not drunk doing well. I'm just not doing well. Right. You know, now you're and, just upset that you're not doing and well. And I'm not, I'm just upset I'm not doing well. And this mouse has like a special button that can lock the keys in like a repeating format. It's and supposed to be some math. accidentally macro. hitting it. Useful for so some games, So you can games, do, like, Street Fighters. Yeah, but, like, it's like a cheating thing, you know. It's like it's like the old Mad Cat stuff that, you know, like, ooh, you can hold the turbo button and it and presses it a thousand times in a row. Right. Totally, it's something you never really use. Totally useless in this kind of game where you need to be very precise with your shots right. and do it so on time. switched on, like, <laughs> So it was like, eh, and it'd be, like, you know, firing or reloading constantly and while I'm in the middle of trying to fight a guy. And I'm like, God, yeah! You know, it just... So... <laughs> First world problems. First world problems. I literally <laughs> beat the mouse into pieces. <laughs> so now you have a ball. Now, back to a regular ball. Back mouse. to a regular mouse, which is probably better though, because this is kind of just a, a standard gaming mouse with only like not sixty buttons all over right. the face of it, but like you know five That's to the fine. main two buttons, a scroll wheel, and two side buttons. You know? <laughs> all right. So what else we got besides video games? Because I, I know beating no- the ass I out know, of <laughs> yeah. I know nothing about video games. Oh uh, yeah. Well. Also, more online travails, you know, the selling stuff, which we both have this story. Yeah, we tried to talk yeah. about this in our first aborted bogus, attempt. Abor- we had an abortion <laughs> yeah. of our first podcast because it came out like the gremlins were in the well, machine. It came out deformed, yeah. <laughs> twisted, for inexplicable reasons. The sound Gasping first, so we had to put it down. It was the deep? Yeah, we did like we did like thirty deep. tests. Did a test immediately before recording. Recorded for like thirty minutes, and then it was all jacked up with quality the quality content, oh, semi quality, solid. <laughs> hey. Hey, it was we never admit our failures. Right. Yeah. It's not a failure. It was just <laughs> not the best ever. We admit our failures only when they're humorous. And then it was all jacked up, and then we tested again and couldn't reproduce the error. So this, yeah. for all we know, this one is being all jacked up as we it's speak. recording. Parent then parent. I'll crush my own computer to dust. If that's yeah, exactly. That's why I but brought yeah, it up. Anyways, it has a propensity to happen the, in our the family. The point was we talked about selling, because both of us have sold, bought and sold, used stuff for a long time in many different formats, eBay, it's an auction business, all that yep. stuff. And there's no online at least sales I know and of, stuff. Yeah, um, that you will come across Craigslist, more et derelict subhumans than trying to sell used goods. Oh, and it's the weirdest stuff too, because like you know, I'm problems. trying to sell right now uh, some items and some uh, items, some items. <laughs> you know, uh, or basically not to sound like we're talking around it would just sound weirder than just saying it. But right. yeah, I've got an old firearm that I'm selling. Yeah, and so there's like an arms list, which is like Craigslist for arms sales and it's legal in most states because individual uh, yeah if you're selling from selling person individual to person sales, you don't need licenses right. for the majority of you states don't need your, yeah. um, at least here in Florida certainly mm-hmm. yeah and uh, so yeah selling an old one I don't need anymore and it's just always the dumbest stuff like I've had tons of people come in but none of them ever follow through Besides, yeah, just you the just weird... get a lot of flakes thrown out feelers. Yeah. That's even not even the worst. That's annoying. But that's sort of normal. Well, the worst part about it is there'll be like ten emails with this guy back and forth haggling down a price, and then they just and you start never get high, and you know it's going to yeah. haggle down, and then you're like, okay, fine, I will take that price. When can we meet? When up? can we meet? Never hear. I won't again. be in town for two weeks. Right. What do you mean you won't be in town for two weeks? Like, right. I'm not holding something for you without cash in hand. Right. You know, like, this is not well, how I just this tell works. Like, well, when you can tell, give me a call. But I'm That's what I did. I yeah. said, like, well, I'm sorry. I can't hold it for you for two weeks. Right. Contact me when you're in town. If it's still available, I'll sell it to you then. Then this guy got – the most recent guy who did yeah. this got back and was like, you know, well, like, I'm not, you know, like, interested in it. If it's not legal or something. If it is – no, if it's legal, legal, I'll pay for it. If it's not legal, I guess he means, like, if I don't have the bill of sale, I'll pay $300. <laughs> So are you admitting to you want right. to buy stolen goods? Is that what you're like, doing? I'm forwarding this to the police. Oh yeah, I'm forwarding this. But it's fucking hate the But it's like, but yeah, like I, I won't be in Gainesville for a loose week too. Some, you know, something kind of smart me like, like he was mad at me that I'm not holding it. Like, oh yeah, this is a. Right. Look, even if I was doing this layaway, to sit on it for right. some word of some dude on Craigslist. It hasn't Craigslist, paid me. Basically, yeah, it hasn't given me anything. Yeah, yet. it's essentially it's Craigslist for firearms right. and accessories. Craigslist doesn't let you sell anything. They don't even let you sell your own. And I've had other guys too that said they anymore. would pay <laughs> higher amounts than this guy. This guy talked me wanted to talk me down, and the only reason I let him talk me down as much as he did is because I knew it would get to this point. Right. I knew, like at this you knew point, it probably would sell for that. Yeah, anyway. at this point, I need somebody who will show up more right. than I need somebody who's who, going to pay an extra fifty. Bucks pay an extra can... fifty bucks because, right. I mean, not that I'm that desperate. That's the other thing too. Because lots of people think they can get you over right. a barrel. Like, it doesn't matter for like, you to sit on it for like, another year. Or whatever. If I who sell cares? it, yeah, for in another year, it doesn't matter. It's just that I've bought a replacement for it. Two guns are better than one. I will keep this gun for all time if I have to. Yeah, no, it's just there's no particular, particular reason for me reason to. Why you have to? Keep so I might it. as well make a couple hundred extra bucks off of. Uh, yeah. Off of selling it. 
the worst one is the uh, the Swift Swap group. It's on Facebook. Yeah. So the advantage being, like, there's like sixteen thousand people for our area. So the advantage being, you post and it instantly pops up in front of that many people. The bad news is, one, it's not like a search function like Craigslist. So once right. it's off that, it's not initial, by type of object. Right. Once it's off that initial front page, no one can s- search like the, for it. So the, if you didn't, if the, the person top who twenty wants posts it, are the only thing they're gonna sh- if see. If the person who wants it didn't see it, then they have. There's no way they're gonna see it later. Yeah. The, the other problem is that they're all crazy Hobo sapiens and they're subhumans. That <laughs> I've are on used this that group. for a few times now. Hobo sapiens. Hobo sapiens. Like that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, it's terrible. So I've just gotten to the point now where I sold the worst thing that happened to me was I sold the first thing that I listed on there. I wish I hadn't because yeah. then it's brought me back to the try to kept returning the dry well or an or whatever. abused wife, right? But he loved me that one time. It's something. I don't know. But it's. Uh, I wish that first one had. Because the first one I sold was a ladder. I got a great price for it and sold it instantly. And I was like, sweet. And that's kept me. I don't think I've sold anything. Oh, I've sold one other thing off it. Yeah. But that, no, that was off Craigslist. Yeah. Because I, I. You listed on list. both. Yeah. Because well, now I, I don't put any extra effort into the listing on this website. But once I've already listed on Craigslist, just it's cut and pasted yeah. on there. And you it, could even just put the Craigslist link. So right. if well, I just cut and paste the text. Yeah. It's very quick. But I, I may start... Now I just started messing with the people because they, they post such stupid stuff. Oh, yeah. That now I'm just like... I posted like the skulls of Tuganda for sale. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, relics of vast ancient power. Complete for, set. For those of you who don't know, that's from uh, The Phantom with yeah, Billy with Zane Billy from Zane. the 90s. It's cheesy uh, pulp adventure based on the old pulp adventure comics. So I put the... Entertaining. The skulls of Tuganda, complete set, ancient relics of vast power... Like, we'll trade for a four-wheel drive or a rototiller. <laughs> right, yeah. For a four-wheeler or a rototiller. <laughs> Speaking of Billy Zane, though, uh, I, I'm i part of that, like, not Amazon Prime, like, I pay for it. Oh, you were telling me about some this. Of the, yeah, like, they have, like, a, a beta their thing. Their own. Where, since they're trying to do their own TV shows, their own right. online TV shows. And they, if you're part of the beta program, they send you just the pilots, like, a link to watch the pilots, and, and then, then you, you take a survey on. on them. And they basically... They want to see which one's the most popular yeah. so they can green light that well, That's project. a cool way, like I was saying before, it's, they have, it's like a focus group with the actual people who would be the viewers of the show. Right. Right. So it's exactly. directly correlated so to whether... So they can decide which of these like 12 shows they will put more money into and make a whole season out of. Right. And that's there cool. was uh, one of which had Billy Zane. And that's yeah. a, but, but what was funny is I knew it in the instant I watched it. Like, oh, that's Billy Zane. Like he plays this rich guy who's like the, the basic premise is these rich guy that they don't know how he got his money. These old childhood friends, they're all grown up now. But they come down to see this guy in Belize where he's got all this mm-hmm. money now and has this mansion and he's like invited them all of a sudden and you know, something weird's going on. He's like, he talks about he's going to leave the mansion to them if anything happens to him and, and they're, he's evasive about how he got the money and how, the, how his, you know, why he just retired all of a sudden, what he was right. actually doing for a living you know, beforehand and, and it's Billy Zane. And of course, at the end of the episode, he gets assassinated by somebody, and they're like, like "Give us the thing." I knew like, Billy what Zane, thing? you know, like it. it's like I knew Billy Zane might make it. Like <laughs> Billy Zane doesn't get to live. It's like anything he's in, it's like a bit part now. Well, it's probably because he's famous enough that him being in it will help a little bit. He's affordable enough that they can afford to have him for a couple episodes, but, but not, not enough for a to whole pay him season, for the whole yeah. series. But he can't be like less afford. He can't be more affordable. You know, he's got to be more affordable than some of these guys are making on TV series. For a long time, that are big actors now, right? You know, like Kevin Spacey in that the Netflix That's true. series. Yeah, you can't be they making got more two than or three that. seasons. You know, it's just like maybe he just doesn't like doing it that much anymore, or whatever. He doesn't want to sign. I mean, it's not that he was ever super famous, but I mean, there was That's a lot true. of pulp adventure stuff that I remember as a kid, like the Crypt Keeper movie or whatever, Tales from the Crypt. Well, he movie. was in one of those. He was in that one. Yeah, the one with like the. Uh, I mean, that was back when he was a nobody, though. Yeah, he wasn't yeah. really famous until Titanic, right? But I mean, that was a pretty big. And then he still really didn't do much after that. No, no. He was in Zoolander. Like, right. But I mean, like, he's not, a, he's not... Yeah, exactly. He's not a bad... I mean, like, what's funny about it is it's just, like... It probably sounds like a weird man crush thing going on here, but, like, <laughs> he's got, like, a... You know... He doesn't have, like, a bad acting skill. It's not, like, a great no. acting skill, but it, right. it's just... It's weird. It's, it's one of those Hollywood confident. things. It's, like, he, he's totally middle of the, Above average looks... Middle of the road. You never skill know what those people are like. Maybe it could be them, like not being, like turning down a bunch of stuff, or just not trying to get a bunch of stuff. Right, or, to or them, that was enough. All the money, or maybe he yeah. works behind the scenes right. more than he works Doing, in front maybe, of the camera. Yeah, maybe he has a podcast or something. Yeah, but it's just one of those <laughs> funny things where you, you know you don't know those travails of different actors, and then you're just wondering like, man, oh, there's that guy. I haven't seen him forever. And they killed him in the first episode. It's just kind of humorous. It's like, oh, he's finally got a gig again. Good for him. 
dead. Like that Chinese guy that always dies in the John Carpenter movies. Right, yeah, exactly. He's yeah. shot multiple yeah. times and yeah. flops around. There's, There's always a couple actors like that that are like, oh, that guy, I remember him from this. And they get tight and passes, he's dead. shows up and dies five seconds later. Right. That's not good. You get pigeonholed as right. the guy who dies. <laughs> the, like, you know, you're, you're typecast as uh, the setup character. Right. <laughs> to die. Mostly, I just want to say, because I don't know why, but I thought in my mind, and I loved the line, Billy Zane doesn't get to live. Like, right. that's like, in Hollywood, they got a secret rule. Like, oh, you're hiring Billy Zane? Well, you know. You know he's not allowed to live past he's a couple episodes. He's not allowed to live past a couple of episodes. <laughs> Although, he doesn't die in any of the movies. No, no. He's just an in them very much. He's just in them, no. <laughs> Small parts. Yeah. It's like Billy Zane doesn't get to act, baby. Is that the... Right. <laughs> he pissed somebody off. One of the Jew masters <laughs> of Hollywood. <laughs> Some conspiracy theory will spawn off of this comment. Right. You can just ask Mel Gibson about it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Someone asked me, they were like, why don't you think they're getting Mel Gibson to play the new Mad Max movie and I'm like well because first of all he didn't exactly ingratiate Hollywood elites with his uh, anti-Semitic rant drunken right, yeah. rants and also he's like 70 years old right yeah they're yeah. trying to remake it they don't want to like do a sequel right it's a reboot we'll see if that's any good yeah I'm, I'm a little bit hesitant about it I don't think it's gonna be very good yeah it, their motives for these type of movies are, are not different pure, though, yeah, yeah. So yeah. They're, not, they're, and they're not they're not that doing I really them to care like, obviously the, the reason they make the original movie was to make money too right but, but they had an original vision when your the goal time. right not, when your goal is to repeat the vision right it can be good, but the problem is, like, I was watching, like, I was watching the Mad Max, the Road Warrior, not the first Mad right. Max. The first Mad Max Road is not very good, honestly. Right, yeah. I rewatched it again recently. Yeah. So it's not that good. It's, yeah, exactly. slow pacing's all weird, and it's kind of incoherent. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not not wildly incoherent. Like, right, you know but what's it, happening. it was the it punk rock thing. It was, yeah. you know, it was, it was basically an indie movie for its time, right, almost. Right. You know, not quite, but almost. You know, because I think that one was made in Australia, so it was, yeah, it was less distribution and everything than. Then, but it got enough traction that then they funded and distributed the second one in America, you know, and it got right. popular. But it was actually a totally different movie. The first one oh, yeah. wasn't after the apocalypse. It was right, no, like it was just a dystopian. dystopian yeah, it was like crime, Shitty judge dread style. It was more like crime. Robocop, but in like Australia. Right, yeah. Where this crime really bad, the cops were all overworked and everything. Right, yeah, exactly. And then they decided to push it all the way over the edge in the second one, you know, the, the same like hard nosed cop, you know, them, is, right. yeah. They went from crime ridden to nuclear apocalypse. Right. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, like, I think one of the things that made me think the next one's not going to... It'll probably still be entertaining, but it's just like the spark is missing mediocre. or it's different. Yeah. Is they showed one of the bad guys, right? And he has this face mask that's like a skull teeth, like yeah, a lower jaw that. and a skull with these, yeah. like, sharp teeth and these tubes for, like, breathing yeah, coming I've off. Yeah, I've seen it. Who's the fuck is making that in the apocalypse? Like, right. where do they have a mold? You know or what I mean? They did it just like to look the old spooky. ones, they had like football gear on and right. The a old tire, ones had like it was a piece it was of a tire. cheesy, yes, but right. that's actually realistic. Like the the grunginess came from the fact right. that it was the trash of the old world, right? Not that they like, had, like chopped up trucks. Not like, that it's like a space adventure. Yeah, not that it's a space adventure where a race of desert dwellers and their special technology make right. these cool masks. It's like elaborate know? stuff that they're putting on or wearing every right, day. Yeah. It's like that doesn't really make any sense, right? I mean, you can go that way, but that's a different style universe than the previous one. Right. Like, you can have a very stylized movie. Like, um, let me think of an example here. Uh, the Fifth Element. Right. Extremely stylized, outlandish. But, it's but that's like its original world. style. Yeah. So everything else set in that place needs to be like that. Right. Mad Max already has a grunge a style. Right. Well, it's just like when they say they're going to redo... They said they were going to redo Escape from New York. I hope they don't. Honestly, because yeah. I can't see them like... When it's one of those, it's an iconic actor-director combo for that right. specific and it's role. it's pretty cheesy you can't, to go right, back and watch them, yes. That. But you cannot recapture what was good about that right. cheesiness. Right. When, it'd be like remaking The Big Lebowski. It's because yeah. it was a combination of like the actors, the story, it's the directing. It's not that Escape from New York one thing. had the greatest action or anything. It was because... Him as Snake Plissken was so With that so style cool. of movie with like yeah. the John Carpenter cheesy 80s. He just came out really well. He like, you know, like, call me Snake. Right. And then like, Snake, the name is call Plissken. me Plissken. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, just that ornery, you know, a, a, a punk rock post-apocalyptic version of Cool Hand Luke, you know, where right. you're just like, you know, non And now while I don't necessarily think that's 100% the case with Mad Max, 
Like, his character wasn't so iconically no, no. Mel but, Gibson or whatever. No, no. The it setting the for Mad Max was more movie. the the hip thing. He yeah, was, just, just, became, he was uh, almost the silent protagonist. You right. Know? So that could be redone as a different person, but I yeah. just don't think they're going to capture that. They'll try to Hollywood everything. And it's, just, it's how it goes. I mean, right. I get it to one extent because this kind of thing has happened in other media for a long time. Books and comic books have done the rehashing a lot because right. they've been in the point that movies are now a lot sooner. And that point is right. where saturation. You've got so many ideas and well, potential. just wanting a new generation wanting to see the story again. Or right, whatever. yeah. They, they but not only that, like, like yeah, like, you know, so. you've got Spider-Man has been cool for this many years, but right. eventually he'll get stale if he's the same thing the whole time. Because if he was time. cool in the 70s, he's not going to necessarily be cool the same way. And then Right, so they have to reinvent him every right. so often. So that's going to happen in movies a lot more now. So that's... Part except, of the thing, except movies aren't naturally recurring serials like comic books are. You know what I mean? The they just, they yeah. deciding to bring Mad Max back. It wasn't already having like every year they're making a Mad that's Max. Where, movie. That's where it falls apart. Right. A so they didn't because, have to go make. They could just make their a new movie that's that's right. With that's, modern times. But that's and the, everything. the other part though. Is like I said, the sat, that's where the saturation point. Well, that's where it's sort of because just, like just you can make other characters. Risk aversion on the side of the studios. Yeah. They're like this worked before. Instead of trying to come up with a new cool yeah, idea, yeah. Instead of saying that we like post apocalypse. And, let's make and so them, let's make a new post-apocalypse. Like, let's make a Mad Max style. for the new generation. Instead, they're like, let's remake Mad Max. Exactly. Which yeah. is not exactly. always better. That's the best succinct Especially way to put people, it. Instead of a new this, like, for the right. next generation, they say, let's remake this again. When the still... It's not that long ago. Like, yeah. it was in... Um, Mad Max has been, like, 30 years. Right, it's been 30 years. So that one's a long time. But a lot of them, they're doing less now. But it's still yeah. not so long that, like, there's you can't go a back lot of people it, yeah. alive or have seen the first one, too. Or at you least know, know, know like the character. Right, right. They know the character. You're not like going, it's not like Hollywood finding the Zorro books or, you know, or the Three right. Musketeers and deciding to make that. But then now they're also doing stuff like, what was another movie they were going to... Well, like, with the Batman one is... But with comic books, it's all, like I said, it's already okay because that's already happens in comics. That's a constantly. different example because that's, yeah... Taking from the source material, it's already been and done. A mo- a the first times. movie wasn't was already like remaking it in a sense, yeah. so it doesn't really matter to do it again because the comics have been around since you yeah. know for decades and decades. But with movies that weren't already repeating, so it'd be it's better to make like a new James Bond than it is to make a new Mad Max because they yeah. were already recurring. It was books, then it was recurring serials with already different right. actors. So it's no big deal. But to remake like an iconic one of one of a kind one off movie doesn't make as much sense. I mean, it makes the same reasons they want to make money, but it's not as guaranteed to make money either. Well, exactly. That's what it comes down to. Because, like, a director could come in and make this movie, like, in the spirit of Mad Max, we're going to make a movie about, like, but it's a cooler, slicker version of the future where these guys have these kinds of cars and stuff, and then it'll be, you know, called Thunder Road or something something like that. Like, why don't we just make it Mad Max? Right. Like, well, actually, you know, we were going to make a new one with a new character who's got a different personality. Like, no one will go see that. But you know what? We've already got Mad Max, and everybody who knows who he is, so just make it Mad Max. they'd rather just have that initial burst of money from people, and they don't care if they, if people are disappointed as long as they come and pay the first time or whatever. and that's how it always works, because, yeah. But anyway, I mean, you know, it's, there's nothing inherently wrong with a remake or a relaunch or a re yeah, exploration of a character. Good. It's just that, yeah, the track record is middling at best. Right. Most remakes. Some of the, like the comic book ones, especially, have been really done really well. Like obviously, yeah. the Christian Bale Batman movies were a hell of a lot better than the last few before that. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like George Clooney, Big, Big, Big Chris O'Donnell. Yeah. yeah. And there's. Other examples, although I guess this does fall into the like comic the Judge book Dredd. The Judge Dredd, yeah, I was going to say massively it's, better. It's, it's obvious. I think it's telling that we're going back to the comic books, but yeah, that was right. I just better. realized when I was about to What's say that. But the there's one other that was remakes. Not a, a good a reboot remake, or like relaunch. This, a reboot or relaunch that was not a comic book, like a remaking of a movie that was better or good. Because I'm thinking specifically of movies that weren't previously a series. Weren't previously a book or a comic book or anything. Well, they made whole, the movie. So many movies are, that we don't even realize when you're watching it are based off of some book or something. Because that layers it down a lot. Right. Because like, or there's other ones like. Um, I guess they haven't done as many remakes as of things that just started as a movie that we're thinking. I mean, they do a lot of sequels. Right. But they haven't really done that many. They, they do plenty, but yeah, it's just not coming to mind because like a lot of them, they're like horror movies or things like you know, uh, like Godzilla. 
where there's a ton of movies before it, and then they decide to reboot. Right, and so that's not really series. what I'm talking about. Right, I know, I know, but I mean, it still kind of like qualifies. One iconic but movie I know what you're looking for. Remade well, and I don't think that that's. I mean, obviously, there's not that many like iconic. Maybe there's movies. like a, there's. I think there's like a western or two that kind of. I mean, there's some there's some like the Italian Job, you know. Yeah. They remade that movie, but that was um. Yeah, so that that fits the like example that, that you're looking example. for. Like an old '70s movie, they remade or '60s, I guess. Yeah, and there's several movies like that. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they remade a Dirty Harry eventually, or yeah. something like that. They, um, what they've been doing recently is it's still, like I said, even if it is 20, 30 they, years. They did 21 Jump Street, but that was a, that was, that was a, a TV show. It was a TV show. Which they, and but, same but thing with, um, fits, uh, Starsky and Hutch. Yeah. But they've been doing it with, like, they've been given, like, the Lethal Weapon treatment or the Rocky treatment, where it is just a sequel, but it's just the same people, like, 30 years later. Right. Which yeah. is fine, I guess. You just read. Redo it. Yeah, like apparently that just because I'd rather Rambo do, Five is I know, I'm so he's stoked about script that. Or whatever, yeah. Everyone and actually another Rocky one too. Apparently, oh, really? I don't think he's going to be fighting in the movie, but he's he's a coach now, right, right. or something like that. Oh, like that's Rocky that's Five. the evolution. It makes more sense. That's all you can do with the a character. Lot of that's ridiculous. Point. But I'll watch as many Rambo movies as come out. Right. Like, yeah. I love the last yeah, one. Exactly. I love the next one. Just gory, stupid. Because fun. originally he had said that he was going to make Rambo Four. The one that they just made, or not just made, but the last The previous, one. the last, the most recent. It was going to be, he came back to the U.S., to Arizona, and he's supposed to be like part Native American or something. Yeah. And he gets in it with like a local Nazi skinhead gang or something. Right, yeah. But at the end, uh, instead they made it in Burma. Right. But but at the end of the movie, he comes back and is standing at his dad's like farm where right. he says Rambo. So yeah, I'm wondering so if they'll go that direction I'm, or it'll I be like they're gonna re- cartel or something like that. Yeah, so they'll know? probably go back to that script that he had come up with where he... Uh, Wanted it to come full circle back to the right. U.S., back to his dad's place. Because yeah. they were like, do you have any family? He's like, dad, maybe, or something right, like yeah. that. And, and then it shows the mailbox. Right, literally ends with him returning home. Right. And so that would be a good start. Set up for where now. his original script was. Right, so I guess it would be like that. Like if they made a new Rambo with someone else, right. that would yeah. be like, what? And I don't think they... So they could... got a few of those in the pipe, like the Escape from New York I think it's, stuff. I, I think we're thinking of it because we keep hearing about them now. Right. But I don't think they've actually done that many yet. They've done they, a lot of reboots have. and a lot of sequels, but the reboots that I'm talking about aren't remakes of, like, just original material that were movies. Not very common. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That's not as common as you think, because most movies are right. based like, I mean, off yeah, something. Rob Zombie did a Halloween movie, but there were already, you know, six Halloween movies. And they've been thing. rebooted once or twice and before. And they're all, they're all yeah. kind of reboots. Horror movies like that are different because they just always start over. They just use the same character and premise, right. but none of the shit matters. See, in that case, it's kind of, they're kind of like Jason's a comic book. They're yeah. more like a comic book. The character anyway. is what sells it. You know, right. same with, like, Godzilla. And that's so kind of why we just qualify So I don't really even count those as, like, a because. They, uh, that's the pattern of those that's characters. Always, they've been doing bring them back every and movie. Yeah, every, so often. every movie. It doesn't matter that it's. You can pretend that the first movies happened or that they didn't, and it doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. So that's not really. Well, what some of them try to do continuity, but then it always starts to fall apart. So then they reboot. Because well, the original movies make sense comic anyway. Have been doing yeah, for so long anyway. Because right, you get too like thick with book. weird events, and so they have to re. But like a. Uh, yeah. But yeah, like a, a thing that was a, a like a, a famous movie. Like the, the Italian job, like, like I was saying. Italian That's job, a yeah. perfect example of what That's a very specific ex- uh, category that you're asking for, but right. yeah, it, it is an interesting category. Well, the reason I was about. asked is it seems like one of those that I would that feels like they're trying to do all the time, but I guess they really haven't done it that many times. No, Gone to 60 yeah. Seconds, that was another one. They're all Carmen yeah. robbery movies. Yeah, apparently. But uh, So that one was good. There's other ones where Honestly, I would say I probably enjoyed that one better than the original. Like Some people just have a nostalgia for the original right. ones. I don't think I even saw the original. Yeah, and... Tell um, Look, yeah, they're good movies, but there's there's a totally different style for those 60s and 70s movies. Right, yeah. But, I mean, they're not quite, yeah, redoing things like, you know, they haven't redone The Untouchables or Bullet or something like that yet. Or, right, you know, but I'm sure or they even will. some of the or, 80s movies, yeah. like, there's no new The Predator, you know, or anything like right. that. Right. They know? just, they kind of do, like, we'll do Alien versus Predator or Predators, but that's that's right. fine. Because that's just, yeah. it's more like a sequel. It's not the same those universe. Are good, but, yeah, right. it's adding... Well, the, Predators was good. Predators was all right. I liked it. I, I liked it better than the other ADP ones. It, it was superior to all the other ADP sh- right. crap, but n- I'd still think it was missing something. I don't know exactly At what least they weren't trying to do what the other movies did better. They did a new thing. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? That's that what was they fine. usually make the I mistake, the and that's what the Mad Max problem is going to be. Yeah. They're going to try to harness what was in the original movie and make it better. Which, right. it's not going to be better because, first of all, it wasn't very good. That's what they don't understand. Is it right. wasn't a good movie. It was just enjoyable for its, like, its weird kind of idiosyncrasies right. and, and, and they its stylized that the, nature. They forget that the cool thing isn't that it had good special effects. Or even good acting or, good, or whatever. It was that the characters in the setting had some resonance to it. What was unique and it was um, enjoyable just because right. it's I mean, so you bizarre. always remember the weird pairing of Mad Max with the goofy... 
helicopter guy. Right. Right? Or you know, like, like, the, like just total nonsensical or stuff. Or like, like the kid who doesn't they're, talk, they're you know. Fighting over drops of gas and driving around like cars with 450s in them. Or, right, you know, yeah, and exactly. 454 engines. Like, and burn like, gas in two seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just like yeah. roaring through the desert of course, muscle cars. Of course, it's not as cool to show like, you know, Leafs. They're all Prius. You know, like, like, yeah, Prius Nissan Leafs. Or little scooters. Yeah, going through the wasteland. Bicycles and stuff. But right, so I mean, like, but that doesn't make sense when you try to make the movie more realistic. Or same kind of thing modern. with, like, you know, going to another post-apocalyptic movie. This one largely panned, a lot of people disagree, but, like, Waterworld. Like, you know, yeah, Waterworld's not awesome. a great I liked movie, it for the same reason that but, I liked Mad Max. Right, but what's good about it is it's just absurd. And, like, the right. characters are balls to I would balls honestly outlanded. say that movie harnessed the Mad Max feel way more than this new Mad Max movie probably will. Yeah. And it was yeah. the exact same reason. Like, stupid shit. They're wearing, like, nets and dumb shit. Right, yeah. They're it all just bizarre and crazy. Don't, nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense, <laughs> yeah. but it doesn't matter. It's just, you know, it's a, it's a more like, about a... You um, said you wouldn't kill me. Right. Oh, I may have. Yeah. Hands the gun to the other guy and right. he kills him, you it know. It was an ambiance more than it was like right. a and good a, filmmaking. Right, exactly. It's an ambiance. It's rememberable characters, right. you know, and stuff like that. It's not that you've got the coolest car stuff. In my, in my mind, what but, they're trying to do is basically consciously remake like a viral video. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's, there's no way you can go back and harness what made... Some of these dumbass videos get millions of views. Right. Especially yeah. not trying to. And they make the video yeah, polished exactly. we're, and we're professional talking about, looking. Other than Waterworld, which was a whole bunch of money. But like a lot of these things were the lower... I'm not talking about the money. I'm talking about whatever it is that, that it's je ne sais quoi. Right, but I'm saying like a, a viral video. Right. It's like some sleeper hit. You right. know, it's something that didn't get a whole lot of budget or something. A lot right. of these movies. Then they became a thing. Right. You know, and like Terminator or something. That viral like Terminator. What makes one of these random YouTube clips... People, what makes people say, "Oh, that's funny," and send it to other people. And instead you know of I mean? understanding, like you can make things funny was... while you're trying, but to, to harness a particular and you you can do that, but it takes a certain artistry. It takes the ability to look at that piece of art and say, "This is why this thing is good." But also, and then you don't try to replicate it exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's you just say. take the fire. You take like you like Prometheus. You must steal the fire. Right. It'd be like taking, that made that what's, good. What's some random and take viral it... video like the um the the original viral video, the Star Wars kid. Like, yeah, you could yeah. make, say, okay, I, and you could study it and find out what made it viral and copy that, but you couldn't remake a video of the exact same thing and do that. Right. Because yeah, people have already right. seen the viral. That's the funny you one. Could, That's you the could look at it one. and understand if you get some other person who doesn't know that they're being filmed or that, all it, or that, and you can you know, and doing something embarrassing to it. very intently. Right. With Somebody a lot very intently, a lot of fervor. And I think that's what it is. You can you can see the original people were like really into this. There's a lot of earnestness. The new yeah. remakes aren't earnest like that. Right. You can tell that they're they're doing it because they are they they're want just people to like it the same way. They're trying to replicate it. They're right. not doing so. Like they're not making the, people drive through the wasteland in muscle cars because they think it would be awesome to have right, people yeah, drive some through crazy the, guy. Right. Would do or just like, yeah, and then they'll have nets on them. Apocalyptic vision. Right. And they'll be wearing a tire like this. Right. They're trying to copy that. The guy will be called Lord Humongous. Right. What? Like, that doesn't like, make any like, sense. X that off. That doesn't make like, we sense. We can't have like, a no, big, like, this... kind of gay dude in a diaper. Right, like. yeah. No, this guy's, like, vehement. He's like, no, my movie will have <laughs> right. the homosexual biker lord, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. like, you know, it's just like, it, this is canon to him. It right. must, it's, it's, you know, it must be in there. It's like, look, why are they all, like, kind of gay? And right. Like, no, no. It's like, all right, fine, whatever. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Yeah. But, yeah, and that's what they're trying to do is copy that. So they'll copy those actual, like, aspects of the movie like oh I guess we need to make him gay I guess we need you know and that's right. not really what made the movie enjoyable it's the fact that it was this weird world like right. it could have been any any of those little things didn't really matter that much right. but that's all they know to copy you know what I mean right and they copy how else exactly you, right. it's not that they, they copy the what, fire the guy had well, you the can't passion for that. this idea that's my whole point is you can't exactly. copy that exactly but like you can have it you can have it but you can't like copy it just for the hell but what's funny is you can't find and had it that's what's so funny you can find and they have found this is about I think one of the reasons the Marvel movies have been successful is they wait until they even if it's directors who haven't done anything like those movies before mm -hmm. they get people like as I was listening to an interview for James Gunn Guardians of the Galaxy director right. and it was funny because he was I mean like he's a big movie maker he's right. done movies before and stuff and so he was excited by this but like he was like talking with somebody about like why why these characters why not these versions of the characters practically like jizzed his pants like talking and, uh, about and it, it well, no, he just said like oh that's you know it's, it, the Marvel Universe and the cinematic universe are different so we can do things differently I mean the comics are Earth 616 and I'm like, yeah, wait, he knew great. that? He knew, like, because, like, in the Marvel Universe, each universe has a number. Because you can keep track of them. Well, no, it's, the idea is that it's a multiverse, right? Right, right. And 
they made up the idea that there's certain things like the Watcher and stuff that watch the multiverse and they've n- numbered them, you know, yeah. whatever. And, the, and it's the also main, so they can have things that happen, overlap or, right, yeah, or, or, they can or have, just didn't happen in this that didn't one. Didn't happen in that one. It turns out it was in the other universe, right. you know. So, so the guy's saying, not, dead. not dead. Or, or the guy dead. from this universe is alive. We just... Sh- Rip him out of it and right. bring him back, you know. Or like he died, but then we pulled him out of 617 or whatever. Right, yeah, exactly. It turned out his book was very popular, so we're right. bringing him back, you know. We pulled him out of 617. But yeah. right. The fact that he knew the number yeah. of the Marvel, like, can- canonical universe or whatever right. was like, oh, he's a nerd. He's yeah. passionate about it, <laughs> you know. And, this, and that uh, comes through. That, oh, that will paint over a lot of, like, other crap and mistakes. The movie yeah. has that kind of earnest right. kind of energy. Yeah, too. where you, you, you can do all sorts of changes but you have to and have that's what I did for like idea. about the first Punisher movie, which I did about the second. What is it? It was more earnestly kind of presenting that like idea of the Punisher. Oh, and the it Warzone was just, versus the Thomas Jane. Right, the Thomas Jane. I like one. the Thomas Jane one, but I it was like a little. It, but it was a yeah. little like I said, it was a little um, just like force. Like it was said, like hey, like you said, they just picked a director and said you direct this movie about the Punisher. He's like, okay, I'll do it. Not someone who was like really. The other one was almost of, a little bit too much the other way. But it was like, still a little awesome. ham. Like, it was awesome. A little bit cartoonish, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. but that's also awesome because it had that punk rock. Right. You know why I love the Punisher? Right. Because he punches guys' heads. So he went over know? the top. So with just it. went over. Which like, is rocket better. launcher to the parkour guy. Yeah, he's like you know? flying like, through the air, like flipping. And then kick his head off when he comes down. They kick his head onto the rail spikes or whatever. Oh, he fell on the rail and he kicked his head off on the way down. Yeah, that's right. Like broke his head off. Then broke his head. He like jumped on his just, head. Just ridiculous toxic Avenger level, you know, kind of violence. Right, you know? hilarious. But that kind of ultra violence is in the comics, you know. It's right, certain, right. certain versions of the comics. But like I said, it's not even about the specific aspect of it that the people are copying. Because if you're copying anything, you're still just copying. Even right. if you copy everything perfectly, it's still just a copy. Yeah, it's that it's that subtle difference between homage and copy. And then you get to the point copy. where you, if you're just copying everything, why even bother doing? it? Right. Just watch the original. Like, right. what, are you just trying to get a little bit better picture quality and different actors? Like, what the, yeah. the hell's the point? Yeah, Counterfeiting their own movies. Well, it's just someone else trying to make money off the exact same thing. Right. Yeah, Instead exactly. of just re-releasing Mad Max. Well, I mean, but that's own. the truth of it. People will and that's pay to go line. back to watch that's the, the, the 3D line. new version of I don't have a problem with people trying to make money, but I'd rather them also make a good movie. Right. Especially yeah, when exactly. they're doing something that you already like. You know, Right, something you already have a fondness for. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yeah, so without running too long in our very first one, in case we mess up the audio again, we're probably going to wrap it up this time. As always, this is uh, English and English Podcast. We'll yep. have more coming in the future. We got Everything will be coagulated or condensed on EnglishandEnglish.net. Collected. We'll be, collected, yeah. We'll have just a couple random posts on there of stuff that we think is interesting. We'll have our podcast. We'll have links to the YouTube channel, English and English, with our hilarious mm-hmm. videos and any other projects that we get our grubby little hands on. So thanks everybody for we'll listening. We'll try to have this thing going uh, at least every other week, but maybe more. Planning on, yeah. So we thank Probably. our initial listeners here that as we get this bird off the ground and try to get it air warm. Right now it's like a fluttering chicken. So right. it'll be a right soaring eagle. Right now it's eagle. the flight of a phoenix, a cobbled together airplane in the desert that may <laughs> not lift. But we'll see. So thanks for listening everybody. We're signing off. Adios.